Hey guys, Jolly here. Today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different, and that is the next big game. So, as of late, we have seen drops in sales in games like Call of Duty, which have been known to be the biggest games of the current era. But we've also seen new games come out that are a bit different to what we're used to, like The Last of Us and Destiny, and things like that, that have gone massive. So, I wanted to talk about what games I think will be the next big ones, like what kind of games they'll be and if they'll ever overtake Call of Duty in the sales. Now even though Call of Duty has seen some massive drops in sales, it's still the biggest game of, the biggest selling game of the current era. So it still outsells, massively outsells a lot of other games that come out. But we've also seen other games like Destiny, as I spoke about before, which are brand new IPs getting massive, massive sales as well. Not as big as Call of Duty, but still pretty And that is something I find really, really cool. So, the next big game I think we'll see is probably another first person shooter because they're very, very popular for the casual gamer to hop on. I think Call of Duty has succeeded so well in its very fast pace fit paced gameplay but very very short games like the multiplayer games mostly last around 10 minutes which is enough time to hop on and have a quick game with gamer and that is what you do. Battlefield also sold really well but that was more a lot more hardcore gamers played that because a lot of the games on that lasted a very very long time. I've been a Battlefield fan for a while since Battlefield by Company 2 so I've seen I've played a lot of those games but I think Call of Duty overall is the better one because it has more fast paced and quicker games. Destiny on the other hand is a lot different to both of those games put together because it has a very big MMO aspect to it. So you go around and you loot dungeons and things and you, you have to grind for your stuff which is something we haven't seen before in a lot of console games you see it very often on PC MMOs but there isn't a lot of there isn't any real console MMOs I know the Elder Scrolls Online's coming out on the the PS4 and Xbox One really soon but I'm not sure if that's going to sell a lot because of the bad reviews it got on the PC personally it's not a game I enjoy particularly well but I have a few friends that play it but not as often as I played Skyrim and things like that so I think the next big game is going to be something like Call of Duty but maybe not Call of Duty that you can jump on and play with your friends and have quick games or you can do some of the longer game modes and do really really team based sort of game modes that people enjoy um, or again different to that it could be something a bit like a zombie survival like DayZ which I know has really sold well on Steam and PC and things like that. Uh, Minecraft, one that didn't really strike as a game that would make massive, massive sales, but yet again it has. But Call of Duty still outsells a lot of these because, as I said before, it's a very fast paced game. Now, personally, I still really enjoy Call of Duty, I still play it, I've played it since COD 4, when I first got my P PS3 when it came out, and I still think it's a fantastic, fantastic game series but it has majorly dropped as I said before. So the next big game I think will come will be something either brand new, very very original, something that nobody's expected to do so well and it'll be a massive massive shock when it comes out and it'll be one of those games that has been pr pretty overlooked by other games coming out but has massively massively done well. And I also reckon that it'll outsell Call of Duty so much that they will stop producing at the quantity that they are producing at the minute. They'll probably drop it down to a game every two years or every three years because there won't be the sales to bring one out every year. A lot of people will probably still play Call of Duty and enjoy Call of Duty but I don't think that they'll be as big a fan base and as big a money behind the game series as there has been in the past. Now I know there's a Destiny 2 that's pretty much confirmed, I've seen that on the internet one day, 
and I reckon that'll, with its new tweaks and its majorly, majorly pushed IP game will also do really well. Will it outsell Call of Duty? I'm not sure. Maybe when a lot more people have got the PS4 or Xbox One, the game will maybe outsell a lot more because a lot more people will be able to play it together. At the minute I found there's a very big split in what people have got between old gen and current heavy games up like Destiny when they know that they f can't really play it with their friends because a lot of the friends have got different consoles and things like that. There's a massive split at the minute but I reckon by this time next year a lot of people will have Pretty much everybody will have either an Xbox One or a PS4 and it will have scrapped the PS3 or a lot of games, new games that come out for that that are more programmed for the other consoles and don't have to keep in mind the system specs of the old ones all come out and there'll be massive massive pushes on new and interesting games that kind of, kind of match up to the PC uh, visual wise and gameplay wise and things because they're still uncovering new things that come that they can do with the new consoles, they still haven't quite tweaked the dev kits yet to get the consoles working as they want them. And when it does happen, it'll be massive pushes like what you can see the difference now in the games that came out on the old gen and when they first came out and the games that they were coming out with near the end of the lifespan of the consoles. So if you enjoyed this video, please like, favourite and subscribe. On your screen are two videos that you should definitely check out. Thank you for watching. Peace.